Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman, along with Charles Kessler. He is the senior pastor at North Island Baptist Church. Good to see you again. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having me back. I show up here once in a while. I know. It's wonderful to have you. And Thanks. we've talked about your background. You were in the Navy for many, many years. 28. 28 right. years. And now you have, you're not retired. You're still continuing to, to pastor no. your flock. God still calls me to preach, and as long as he gives me that strength, I'll continue to do it. So right. it's a and good thing. For those that don't know where the church is, where where is it, Charles? 3800 Main Street, at the okay. corner of Median Main Street, uh, about right. a block off where you go to the high school right. on Main Street. Very good. So how is it? how did you survive during COVID? We did pretty well. We did the streaming part for a while, mm -hmm. but uh, we went back to church pretty quickly. By the 1st of May that year, we were back in church together. Uh, we separated the, the chairs. We made it a little easier for folks. We wore our masks some right. in, in church, but for the most part, we did very well. And we have not lost a lot of the congregation. We still stream our services, so you do. some folks stay home. Um, yeah. But we've not lost a lot of folks. It's turned out pretty well. Right. And so we're in Holy Week. Um, I know that you said that you have a Good Friday. Do you have a Good Friday service? We do. We do. And then, of course, Easter Sunday. So let's right. let's begin with your Good Friday service. When is that, and what can folks expect? Okay, uh, Good Friday is what it is. And uh, in fact, we talked before we started right. taping about how important Good Friday is. Yes. And it really is an important part of the Holy Week. Uh, we don't do mm -hmm. Monday, thir uh, Thursday uh, mm -hmm. in our church, but right. Good Friday is the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Uh, right. And so it's hard to celebrate a resurrection without appreciating the sacrifice that he made. Right. Uh, and so Good Friday becomes a very somber event mm -hmm. uh, from the disciple standpoint, uh, from church history mm -hmm. standpoint, Jesus is dead. I mean, right. Jesus has been crucified. Disciples are kind of in hiding. And so we drape the cross in the church in black. We drape the altar in black. I the, wonder the, if the you strip everything. Black. It's right. all black. I'll wear a black suit. Uh, and it's very much a Jesus is dead. Jesus has been sacrificed service. Right. So right. it's usually a short service, but mm -hmm. very reverent, a very somber mm -hmm. uh, Christ is dead. Now I have sometimes ended that service with a very familiar, uh, it's Friday, but Sunday's coming. Right. Uh, and that's kind of a neat way to end that. But right. for the most part, it's you know, understanding it, that Christ has been sacrificed on the cross. And is that a, a noon service? It'd or? be 7 p.m. It's so 7 o'clock on uh, uh, Friday. Right, and it's usually, for most liturgical churches, it's usually in the afternoon, noon, yeah. and I've done right. that in the past. Right. Uh, but so many folks work, and uh, yes. we've got people in our church that work, and so okay. 7 o'clock works better. And, works best. Um, you know, 7 o'clock, 12 o'clock, yeah. we just need to come together and mm -hmm. worship. All and right. so we do it, 7 o'clock at night, Friday evening. So, um, so we have Good Friday where, you know, Jesus is crucified and then he is risen on Easter Sunday. Hallelujah, he Hallelujah, is risen. Hallelujah, yes. Mm -hmm. And so you have a couple of services. You have a 7 a.m., so we a do. sunrise. Right. And then the regular service at 1030. Mm -hmm. uh, our service, for whatever reason, decided that uh, they wanted to do a 1030 service instead of 11 o'clock. So we do that. We'll have that regular service. We'll not have our religious education that day, but mm -hmm. we have a 7 a.m. Uh, sunrise service. It's Hallelujah, Praise the Lord Day. Right. And then we follow that with a fellowship breakfast. So, you know, the church comes together and we just, it's a time of fellowship and excitement and celebration. Now, I know you've shared with me that you have a lot of older um, uh, parishioners, but it sounds like you're getting some younger. You said they work. So it yeah. sounds like you're getting you, you some You know, we have families. a couple of folks that yeah. work, a couple of couples that right. work, and a young fellow that runs the sound system for us. We had a right. young couple that visited this past Sunday. And, uh, you know, God will bless it in his way. But for the most part, it's been an elderly church, but it's a very traditional, very conservative church. Yes. Right. Well, let's, um, you know, maybe a little message that you might hear. Here's our camera right here to our viewers sure. about the importance of Easter. Well, yeah. I think everybody understands who's Christian, that uh, Easter is the high holy day for the Christian church. And it is. Uh, Christmas is one thing, uh, and we celebrate the coming of Jesus as God, but Easter is the real event. Without Easter, Christmas doesn't mean a whole lot. So if you're thinking about being back in church, Easter's the time to do that. So I invite you to North Island Baptist uh, Friday at 7 p.m. for the Good Friday service, Easter sunrise at 7 a.m. and 10.30 for a regular worship service. Thank you so much, Charles Kessler, who is the pastor at North Island Baptist Church. Good to see you again. Thank you. And happy Holy Week. Happy Holy Week yes. and happy Easter. And happy Easter. Thank you, sir. Thanks.